Hello everybody, how's here and today we got another Gunpla delivery video. Uh, got this from USA Gundam store. Uh, of course you can see it right there. I, know, I took everything else off. I've already opened it. You can't see I got like uh, masking tape here to cover up that I've already gone through it. Now we're going to go ahead and take this off of the desk because it's a big box and I don't feel like I have to move the camera back and forth. So we're going to take this out. I'm going to go ahead and undo it. Um, uh, undo the tape, I mean. Alright, now there are four different mobile suits in this box. Uh, technically five, but two of them are the same thing. Um, so the first thing we're going to look at is the uh, Gugu Marina... She Sima Shima Sima Sima's mobile suit. I can't remember pronouncing her last name. I always say Gotta Howl or some crap like that, so I'm not gonna say her last name. I don't know why I call her Gotta Howl. That kind of what her name sounds like, but if you care about what I'm saying, I'm saying Got to Howl like a dog. But um, I know it seems kind of sexist, but here she is. Oh, this is a hard kit to find. That's why I ordered it. Uh, it was online one time before, I had a chance to order it. And then I pretty much decided I didn't want, I mean, I was going to get it the next day, and the next day it was gone. So I'm going to just pop it open right quick, kind of go through the runners. Um, there they are with the beam effects. So you can see it's all one piece. Uh, some more. Uh, some more runners and stuff like that. Of course, the manual. Um... Hopefully, this is not going to be like the Gelgu Jager, which, uh, the way it was, it had, like, this pose right here that you did do with her holding the gun or whatever. That's the only pose you could do with him, because his hands were kind of wimpy, and he can't hold the gun. You put, it on a gun, you put the gun in hands like this, and it goes down like that, so you always had to have it in the standing in the tension, like, you know, with the gun in his hand type uh, pose. Next one we got here is the old style GM. Is the old style GM. Sorry about that long pause. Uh, to me, the 2.0 looks, I mean, at a kid while I probably look a whole lot better. But to me, though, this seems like it's, uh, you know, a newer model than, you know, the other one because of the way the vents are. Or it could be a later model. Either way, you take it. So we'll go ahead and pop it open right quick. If you always get with those, you get the nice little insert. Uh, runner. Some more runners. Nothing but runners, really. Uh, now, you will notice with this one, that its major difference is, is the beam. Uh, not the, the bazooka is all one color. It's not double colored. Now, the reason why I ordered this one is because I do want to paint this one. Whenever I do get in the techno, uh, an airbrush and stuff like that, so it's gonna be one of those things that's gonna be in the closet until I get around to building it and painting it. Uh, but it's another one of those kits that USA Gun Store happen to have that they normally don't have. And we'll save the double for last. But the next one we got here is the Zaku F2 from Gundam 0083, the Federation version. I uh, wanted to get the green one, but they were sold out. Uh, I'll probably have to use what's in the box. I kind of would like to take uh, parts from the 2.0 and put it, at least use it for the cables and stuff like that, but I might not be able to. And my plans is, well, I, I kind of tell you what my plans is after this. We'll go ahead and pop it open. Same thing with most of the other ones, a nice little insert. Most of itself, maybe I'll like get a a big big picture frame. I could get at Walmart for like posters and put them all in there as a thing. Uh, but there's some parts, some more parts, and all the bags and stuff like that. Uh, the nice thing, cool thing about this one is uh, the hands that come with are kind of like the camper style. 
So I might try to put the shotgun and bazookas with it, since uh, the camper that I have and I've been putting together for so long, uh, kind of had a lot of parts that needed to be glued together. I didn't glue them, and the parts are missing, so that kit now trash to me. Uh, it maybe useful stuff is with the guns and the chain and all that kind of stuff. Maybe you see if you look at these right here, focus. There you go. Those hands are the kind of hands that came with the camper. Just a darker shade, just a darker gray than what the uh, camper had. But I can't on, this is another one of those things I plan on doing like a custom. Uh, the next kit I have is the reason why I got this kit. Alright, and our final two are the Zaku 1. I bought two of it. And the only reason why I really bought it is is for this shield that is the only reason why i bought this kit was for the shield kind of give you some more kind of run into the box store a little bit so i'm standing up and looking down and it's kind of hurt my back a little bit same thing with others like the others nice little insert uh, go ahead and fix the focus on this camera again you know, all blue. The only major thing I don't like about this mobile suit is the color. I don't see the point of making it blue and green. You're, you're kind of wanting your stuff to stand out to the enemy. Uh, the good thing about this mobile suit is you can see the heat hawk is actually in purple. So if you want it, you know, close to your realness, there you go. Just paint the, the orange or whatever. Some extra pieces like the um, piping, stuff of that, and manual, and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. Now the reason why I got, like I said, the reason why I got this is because I want the shield. I really don't have no. I mean, I'll probably, you know, work on the Zaku 1.0 and I mean the Zaku one, and you know maybe do like a custom color on it. Um, maybe I don't know. But the reason why I ordered two of this guy is because it's pretty hard to get a hold of. Go ahead and get this box out of my seat. And I can sit down now. Oh my god. Whew. Oh my goodness. Now this, like I said, with this guy, he's pretty hard to come by, so that's why I ordered two. Uh, if you go to USA Gunner Store now, you could probably still get him in the GM and maybe the uh, Shima's mobile suit. I, I think you may be able to. I Don't hold me to it. Just go check him out and see if they you can. Uh... Regards to the end of this video, I will put it in the description. I'll put a link to all this stuff if you decide you want to go there and see, so you ain't got to look for it on the, you know, the page. Um, uh, anyway, kind of give y'all like a, I mean, that's pretty much it. That's everything I have. Kind of give you like a reason why for this in the Zaku two point, uh, the Zaku F two is I'm gonna do like a, uh, like a group or whatever. Originally, I wanted uh, let me get this. Zaku one out the way. And put the Zaku F2 here. Uh, my, right, my idea is uh, if you ever watch, um, what is it, uh, Fenrir or whatever, the game, the uh, Zaku front or whatever, anyway. If you watch, there's a video on YouTube of uh, one falling down, of one landing, and it has a, uh, the shield, this shield in his hand. So, originally, my original plan was to make a Zaku F2, because, I mean, it looks more like a mobile suit that you would use. And put the shield in his hand, and it'd be a hand machine gun type thing. Uh, now, at one time, it was hard when it's, like, that's why I said I got two of this, because it's hard to get this uh, mobile suit. Uh, USA Game Store has it now, so you know you might want to check it out. And this is the only one, Zaku one, that you can get that comes with the shield. I don't think the um, Black Tri Stars one comes with the shield at all. Um, but you know, it's the only way, well, this is the only one I know that you can get the shield. Now I really like the Rumble All ones because I like the chest piece on it better than this because it looks more tactical. But anyway. Uh, I do plan on getting another one of these, doing like another custom, and then getting the uh, the um, 
goof custom and putting the machine gun from it on you know another one of the arms so i have two zaku twos with one with a gatling gun and one with the shield and that'll be a team and maybe i'll add if i ever get the rumble roll or maybe i'll just add this one to the group too and it'll be like a group uh thing um who knows like i said it's just a plan these are I ain't gonna get uh, unboxed or reviewed anytime soon. I don't like anything I do is everyone get reviewed, but I do need to start getting into it. Um, but long ago, along with this, the only major reason why I got this guy because I plan on like, doing like maybe maybe painting it or maybe not paint it. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I want to paint it, but then I don't want to paint. it. I just want to put it together. I don't know yet. Now I do plan on doing a review on the Shima uh, Gelgoog. But I'm going to do that around the time that I do the Gelgu Cannon, the Gelgu Marine. And then I'll probably do a review of the Jagans since I already have it. Uh, you know, kind of for, and then I'll do like a comparison after that or a comparison in the last video of that. Uh, now with the Zaku F2, I do plan on doing like a, pen, a special paint scheme. Getting the, uh, Saku one, the, Saku, the Zaku 1's shield on one and then probably getting another F2. And then having the uh, Gelgu, uh, not Gelgu, the Goof Customs. Uh, a Gatling gun shield thing on it because if you look at the F2 and the um, the goof their arms are their forearms I think are basically the same forearm so that should hopefully work if not then it'll have goof arms on it without the uh, goof pads of course uh, the GM I do plan on getting I might get another one and have you know two of them one special paint and one not spe uh, special painted and I don't really know what I might do with the Zaku uh, one maybe I'll have two Zaku ones, one painted, and the one just for parts. I don't know yet. That depends on what I decide later. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, leave a like if you liked the video, comment, subscribe for more, and I'll talk to y'all later. Hellsting signing out. Bye.